Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving y'all a home tour of my neutral winter farmhouse decor. So if you want to see how I kind of have my neutral decor right now before I decorate for Valentine's Day really soon, stay tuned. I get the world up for just one day. Watch this madness, colorful charade. No one can be just like me anyway. This is our kitchen area and I didn't swap up a whole lot like on the countertops and stuff. It does look a lot more clean and simplified since Christmas. I did a video on the peel and stick backsplash and the under cabinet lighting. I will link that below if you missed that video but it makes such a difference and it is so easy and affordable. It's renter friendly. If you're interested in doing a backsplash or the little cabinet lighting, I will link that below. Right here, nothing has changed. I've got a Bless Your Heart candle by Tyler. And a girl who lives in our town does these paintings. So that's one of our wedding pictures. And then a little faux fern. In this little cake stand, I leave my dish soap and hand soap. And then for Christmas, I got this little Echo shelf for our Echo Dot. And I love how it's kind of up there and hidden under the cabinets instead of being just out on the counter. Right here, I just have some faux tulips in a vase from Dollar Tree. We got this little tray as a wedding gift. I think it's from Belk. And I have my little Elvis cookbook and my honey jar. I showed y'all this and my what I got for Christmas. I got a lot of new little pottery pieces. So I put that there for now. I just have a candlestick, a little moss ball, my Reese Witherspoon cookbook, and then another little Bless Your Heart candle by Tyler. Over here, I just have like some faux flowers and faux lemons, but I typically put like our bananas and apples and things like that in the top basket and then just leave the decor in the bottom basket, but we finished our bananas yesterday so I just put some of the flowers up there and I love to decorate with lemons in the kitchen. It just feels so fresh to me. Right now, I just have the neutral black and white Buffalo Check dish towel. The one that says blessed is from Dollar Tree and then the little black tea towel under it is from the Target Dollar Spot. And then on this side, this is a mud pie cookie jar, but we were just using it for looks. I never had cookies in it. So I decided to just take the lid off and use it for our utensils. And then I got this little faux plant from Ross. And I got this cute little tea towel with one of my granny's recipes on it for Christmas and found this little tea towel ladder on Etsy. And it is just perfect to display my little tea towel. So I love that. Frosted Cranberry is like my favorite Bath and Body room spray scent. And then this is just a little faux like sage plant. Y'all know I love my greenery. And this has been up here for years, but I don't think I've ever told y'all on a tour where it's from. This little coffee sign is from Dollar Tree and it had the glass in the front. And I just took the glass out to make it look more farmhouse. I feel like the glass made it look kind of cheap but I just love it right there. And then this crystal stuff was my granny's and the little coffee and friends make the perfect blend. It's from the Target dollar spot. But I love to use like black and white stuff in my kitchen area. Right 
My tray is super empty right now. I'm gonna really do it up for Valentine's Day. But when I took all the Christmas stuff down, I just left it really neutral. I pretty much leave this little bunny here year round. It was $2.50 at Dollar General. I love little animals and little pottery animals and all things like that. This little blessed and the you and me came from where my mom works, I think, and the moss ball. And this is another beaded garland that I got from Amazon. This little pig stays out as well. And he was $3 at Dollar General. I just love little animals. And these little like appetizer plates, I leave them out as decor. They are also by Mud Pie. And then this little mug, I put it out just because it was neutral, but I think I'm gonna leave it for Valentine's Day as well. It is also by Mud Pie and it says, P.S. I love you. So everything right here is just really neutral and white right now. I've shared this candle so many times. It is a great dupe for the Capri Blue Volcano Candle. It is from Walmart. It's called Red Lava Citrus. It says limited edition. So I'm afraid they only make it like during summertime, but I stocked up on them. I'm not sure if they have them right now. Over here is also pretty neutral right now. I left everything kind of how it was from Christmas, but I moved these little bowls up there and then I moved my cake, little cake stand and pedestal up there and I got a new little rabbit. But I will be doing some Valentine's Day stuff up there as well. This is just kind of my neutral look. The grocery sign, I've had it since before we got married, but it is from Kirkland's. And Ethan's uncle built this bench, the same uncle who built our mantle for us, but Lily loves to sit on this bench and look outside. So during the winter months, I like to leave like a throw right there for her to sit on or lay on so she doesn't get cold but during the summer, I usually don't have a throw. I just leave throw pillows up there. And then I've told y'all before, but our table was a Goodwill find. It was $9.99, so less than $10. And all I did was repaint the top with a white chalk paint. And then Ethan's mom found these chairs for us. Someone was selling them on Facebook for super cheap. And I just painted them with white chalk paint. I think the size and everything is just perfect for our space. I don't like to use a fourth chair because like I said, we use our back door and I like for it to feel more open. I like to decorate the center so that it is seen when someone walks in. This little charger is from the Target Dollar Spot. This is another little beaded garland that I got in the set from Amazon. And then I got this plant from Dirt Cheap. It was like maybe around $10, I don't remember, but I'll link that video below but they have this same one at Target right now for $24.99. So I'm so glad I found it at Dirt Cheap. This is our little bar cart set up. After Christmas, I changed how this table was decorated. 
So I ordered new lamps. If you've watched my home tours and stuff before, you know that we had like little short lamps on here. They were always supposed to be temporary. My mom gave them to me like when we were moving in and I didn't have any lamps. So we always knew we needed taller ones for this space. And I found both of these on Amazon. It was like $30 for both of them. Lampshades included, free two day shipping, just awesome. And they're kind of like a burlap look. And then the lamp just looks so pretty and rustic. I am very happy with how they look in this space. And I just have a wedding picture and a little bowl with a napkin with our initial and a big greenery bowl. I have another white dough bowl with just moss balls and pine cones and a little book stack that I made. God knew my heart and did you. And I actually make these and sell them. So I will insert my Instagram and if you're interested in purchasing, I can ship them. This is just my little white cake stand from Belle and a couple of my little bunnies that I got for Christmas. And of course, more greenery. I keep Lily's toy basket under here and then just some more like pottery and decorative items on the bottom. Also redid what was in our cutouts. I wanted it to look more neutral. I wanted it to flow better. I just had kind of random dishes and pottery in here. I wanted it to look really farmhouse and be like all white with a little bit of greenery and brown and all that stuff. So I moved like my blue pottery to different places and got all my white stuff in here. All of the patterned dishes and vases were my granny's and I just like to have them up here so I can see them every day. I'll see lots of little pottery animals and a lot of mud pie stuff. All this stuff with the writing on it is by Mud Pie. And then I got this canvas for Christmas. A local lady made that. This little picture frame was also my granny's. So I just love to use those little touches throughout. our entryway we don't use our front door a whole lot but if you come in and go left it is our living room and if you come in straight through the front door it is our kitchen area but right here I just have this little barn painting and this was my granny's sewing machine and I just liked the blues in this picture so I decided to put this little blue candle and the pottery that has blue in it right here. This is also a tree that I had out for Christmas, but I love to use like just plain green trees for winter decor as well. And then if you watched my what I got for Christmas video, I got this little white lantern and I just put a wedding picture in an eight by 10 frame and put that inside of the lantern. On this wall, Ethan built this shutter and I got this little G at Kirkland's. This 
this is how I have our living room right now. It's very neutral and I still have a few winter touches in here. So I just wanted to show y'all what I have going on right now. This area is pretty much the same, but I put this little fern wreath by Hearth and Hand. I found it at Dirt Cheap for like less than $2 and it is currently at Target for a lot more, like 25-ish, I think. This little chair and ottoman is the same, and I just put this little like animal print throw right here. It has our names monogrammed on it. This little potted plant is from Target, but I found it at Dirt Cheap. Left my little magnolia stems and my wooden deer up there for winter decor. I also left my little faux candles. I love the way that candles look on a mantle. And then the same window pane and this is the wreath that I had up here for Christmas. I just took the huge animal print bow off of it and I'm just leaving kind of that frosted greenery look up there until winter is over. So I'll probably leave that up there for a bit longer but I will be decorating for Valentine's Day really soon. I just wanted to give y'all a neutral look before I move into Valentine's Day and then shortly after Valentine's Day I will move into Easter. Sectional is the same, same pillows. These came with it. These are from Ross and then the velvet looking ones are from Home Goods. Got the white dough bowl for Christmas. And I just had this here like before Christmas. I like to put like a vase of flowers or Valentine's Day decor in here for Valentine's Day, but I just have everything neutral right now. And I fell in love with this little picture. It is from the Magnolia Home line. And then You'll see these beads in like several rooms. I ordered a pack from Amazon that had several different strands and it was like 10 or $11 for several different strands. If you watched my Christmas home tour, our tree was over here and we took this end table out and moved it to the guest room so that you could see the tree better. So we brought this end table back in and I just have this little picture from Hobby Lobby that says you, me, and the dog. And then a mud pie picture that says happy everything. It's actually my bouquet from Bridal Portrait, so I love to use that in here. This little pillow, I leave it out year round, but it was with the Valentine's Day stuff in the Target dollar spot last year. A thing up here has changed. Just give y'all a look of that. On the sofa table, I left the little mini wreath and the little flocked pick as winter decor. So this is just how everything looks for just a winter neutral farmhouse look. This is how our master bedroom looks right now. If you missed the video last year when I did our master bedroom makeover, I'll link that below. I talk about like our curtains and why I moved them up to the ceiling and we got our new bed and I painted our bedside tables and all that good stuff. 
So if you want to go watch that video after this one, I'll link it below. I get lots of compliments on this big picture and it is from Smallwood's Smallwood Homes. It's in Texas. They have ads on Facebook all the time, but I ordered it for our wedding and we used it at our wedding and now it has been above our bed ever since. And the frame just happens to match our new bed perfectly. I have two of the lamb's ear garlands around it from the Target dollar spot. I got them around this time last year in the dollar spot. Lily's probably about to jump off the bed, so if you hear a loud thud, that is her jumping off and running away. But our bedding and everything is super neutral. I just have our normal shams and euros, and then I have this Ray Dunn pillow that says blessed. It is from Home Goods. Our bedding is by Maloof Hotel Collection. Our sheets are Maloof and the um, duvet and pillow shams, if you want to look that up online. Our bed is by Lane, but we got it from Room to Room, which is where my mom is a design consultant. That's also where I got my little arches and lamps. <laughs> and this chunky knit throw, my aunt actually made it. I thought it looked really cozy in here for winter time. This blanket ladder is from Kirkland's and I just have some little, this is actually a faux fur little rug from Home Goods, and then this little quilt is either from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and the cotton wreath is from Hobby Lobby. I pretty much leave that year round. Added like some Christmas touches to it for Christmas. little cotton wreath is also from Hobby Lobby. I had these little wreath ornaments up here for Christmas and I thought they were really cute for just winter decor. So I have those up there for now as well. This is another frosted cranberry candle from Bath and Body. The back is really Christmassy but I just turned it around and I'm just using it as a little white candle to go with all my neutral decor. I had Christmas trees here in my last tour, but I typically just leave this little stool here with a pillow. The little stool is from Home Goods. And then we get a lot of comments or questions about this weather door. I have several <laughs> weather doors in my house. It's one of my favorite ways to add a farmhouse touch, but this one was just like on sale on Facebook. You kind of just have to keep an eye out for things like that. Like I have window panes and shutters and weather doors and things like that all over my house and they were all found like on Facebook marketplace or something like that and I bought them super cheap locally and usually just repaint them but this was bought just like this I love how weathered it is This little wreath was $10 at Dollar General, and it also had red berries, but I just took the red berries off after Christmas. And I love the way the white berries look with all of my neutral winter decor. A thing has changed up here. If you're interested in like buffet lamps, these are from Kirkland's. The ones in my living room on either side of the TV are also from Kirkland's. 
And then this is just all stuff that's literally been up here since I redid our room about a year ago. I have another little book stack that I made. It says, Love Me Tender. That is the Elvis song that we shared our first dance to at our wedding. I love Elvis. That is it for my winter neutral farmhouse home tour. Comment below and let me know if you decorate your house for winter. Let me know if you are into the farmhouse style. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. I will be sharing a Valentine's Day home tour very, very soon, and I'm excited to share that with y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Just one day, watch this madness come up.